Hi there. This is a seven years old Toshiba Tekra A10 with two gigs of RAM and an Intel dual core CPU. And now I install Ubuntu Mate 1604 alongside Windows 7. The first thing we must do is to download the DVD image of Ubuntu Mate 1604. All links I used will be found down in the video description. This is the Ubuntu Mate 1604 download site. In the first row you can download torrents for each architecture. In the second row you can donate to the Mate developers and to make a great job. In the third row you can download the images direct. I take the 32-bit image because this notebook has only 2 gigs of RAM. Then download and install the Linux Live USB Creator. After the install of the Linux Live USB Creator, it will start by default. Plug in your flash drive. Then press the refresh button in the upper right corner and select your device. Press to the other button and select the image of Ubuntu Mate you downloaded before. Press OK. The live creator doesn't remember 1604, it's too new, but 1504 will fit also. Then click to format your drive and click the lightning to start. There will be a security question that all files will be deleted on your thumb drive. Now it will take around 10 minutes until the image is written. After that, power down Windows, leave your USB stick plugged in and restart the computer. Now boot from your thumb drive you created before. On Toshiba laptops you can use the arrow keys right on the left select the boot device. On ThinkPads you can press F12 to go to the boot menu. But this is different by each manufacturer.
Now Ubuntu Mate is starting from the thumb drive. Your hard disk isn't engaged yet. After startup, select your preferred language at the left and press on the try out button. Now the Marte desktop is coming up and the welcome screen is shown. It's a very nice feature. The first thing you should do is to establish a connection to the internet. For the further video, I installed a simple screen recorder. Yes, you can do that. You can install additional software on an Ubuntu Mate running from a thumb drive. Windows is using mostly the whole disk space if it installed by default. So you have to resize the Windows partition with Reparted to make place for the Ubuntu Mate installation. It's highly recommended to make a backup of your Windows partition and run it a defragmentation before. Select the MTFS partition, click the right button and select Resize and Move. I shrink my Windows partition before and got around 30 gigs of unlocated disk space. This resource was taking around half an hour. After the resource is done, we can start with the installation. Double click on the desktop icon Install Ubuntu Mate 16.04 LTS. Select your preferred language and press continue. Check download updates while installing and check in the third party software, SUS4 and video cards and so on. This dialog asks where to install Ubuntu Mate. The installer will find your Windows installation and the free space. Click on continue. This dialog shows that two partitions will be added to the free disk space. Press continue. Now select your time zone. You can click on the map where you are or you can type the name of a bigger city nearby. And press continue. Set your keyboard layout and press continue. Enter your name, the name of the computer, your username, choose a password, confirm it. If you want, you can encrypt your home folder and press continue. That's it. You have not to enter any email addresses or phone numbers like on a Windows installation. After the installation is done, press Restart and unplug the installation thumb drive from your computer. After restarting the computer, the Grub2 boot menu comes up. There are all installed operating systems listed. 
the first thing the most users want to know is does my Windows already start up? You can see it works. Let's start our new Ubuntu Mate installation. In the grub boot menu the first entry will be started after a few seconds. You can change the starting operating system with the up and down arrow keys and press enter. Log in with your password you choose for installation. This is the first boot. A normal startup is much faster. First, establish your internet connection. Then you should take a look to this great Ubuntu Mate welcome screen. It will help you for the next steps how to update and how to use Ubuntu Mate. For further information there is also a great video from Windows Help Guy AK Linux Help Guy. The link is in the video description. At the end of this video I want to show you a big advance of Ubuntu Mate over Windows. Look at the system monitor. The whole system uses 287 megabytes of 2GB of RAM. I have taken a screenshot of the task manager of the Windows on this machine too. Windows uses over 860 megabytes of RAM. This is nearly three times more than Ubuntu Mate. With Ubuntu Mate you have much more free memory for your applications, especially on old hardware. And in addition, you have not to suffer around with viruses or malware. Thanks for watching this video.